Hi, I'm the 13th Wolfman, and, well, I did pick something up, personally. I, it's not something that was sent to me by a company. This is something that I bought. It's a 1980 classic film. I haven't seen this movie probably since it came out. And when I watched it the other night, I just loved it. Severin did a great job with this movie. Um, and it's Bloody Birthday. I really do wish that this scene here was in the movie. You know? But, um... I watched the movie. I love this movie. This I forgot all about this movie. This is one of those movies that kind of escape you because, you know, well, like I said, you just kind of forget about them. Everyone knows of the other movies like The Burning and Friday the 13th and My Bloody Valentine. But every now and then some kind of slip by. And this was one that slipped by me for a long time. Uh, I watched it and just, just love the... The creepy little... I love creepy little kid films. I mean, I don't think anything could be any more creepy than children with the maniacal means, you know. So yeah, uh, Severin did a really great job transferring this film. I, I sound like I'm in review mode, but I'm just talking about this movie that I picked up. I, I really liked that they, they had uh, three... Three special features. I watched two of them. Um, I watched Don't Eat the Cake, an interview with Lori Lethem, the, the main young lady right there, who, I, who as I understand, is now retired from, uh, from movies, and she's going to be working with... She went to college, and she's going to be working with uh, alcoholics and drug addicts. So... And, uh, and what was the other one I watched? Oh, A Brief History of Slasher Films Featurette. Which was kind of interesting to listen to someone talk about the movies that I know and love. So, Billy Jacoby uh, is in this movie as one of the kids. And the little girl, uh, her name is Elizabeth, where is it? I don't see it. Uh, I can't think of her name, but Elizabeth something. Uh, she's a man. I'm kind of curious to see how she turned out all these years. But then you have like, uh, then you have like little people that pop up here and there that were nobody at the time and are somewhat kind of known now. Joe Penny from Jake and the Pat Fat Man. Michael Dudikoff makes an appearance in this. Yeah, the American Ninja guy. Uh, Susan Strasberg, Jose Ferrer, of course, they were well known, and Julie Brown from MTV. Not downtown Julie Brown, but the other Julie Brown, the redheaded chick. And you get to see Julie Brown in like all her glory in this film. So, so yeah, um, that's my, that's my. Per I've, I've got a couple more of these. I just haven't watched them yet. I I picked up like Savage Country, Savage uh, County. Um, what else? See, Gone with uh, Amanda Sifrid. I just just a few others. I'll pop these up for you when I. I mean, there's like eight films I picked up, but I'm just like brain farting right now. But um, I'll I'll show them to you as I as I watch them. But yeah, this was a great film, so congrats to Severance for doing such a nice job. But yeah, I'm the 13th Wolfman. I'm on the prowl.